In today's video, I'm going to show you some things that I don't normally share on YouTube, which is a lot of my playtime and experimentation time. And I, I was working on this in the studio yesterday and I thought, you know what, I'm going to film it because it was, it was really good fun and I think that you'll enjoy watching it, but I think you'll also enjoy doing it. <laughs> so my name is uh, Joy Fay. I'm an artist and teacher and I help you develop your creative and intuitive skills and techniques with your painting to give you new insights and understanding about elevating your painting to get the most satisfaction and happiness from it. So I hope you're going to enjoy um, this playtime and stay to the end because the results are really quite fascinating. <laughs> Here is a lovely, <laughs> wonderful play thing to do with an end of palette. I've got my old palette here. Some of the paints are still wet. So um, it would be fun to put it on here and see what happens. <laughs> and it's a great way of just um, having some fun, experimenting and seeing what will happen. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to just place it on the top here. And Pat it all down and let's see. Great way to play. And whoa, gonna have some great things going on. I might do it again. Pick it up. And I'm gonna take another piece of paper, but first of all, I'm just going to clean this, move my sketchbook over, and there you go. Do it again on here. And I'm going to get a, uh, I get? I'm just going to use my silicone brush to push it down on here, spread the paint around. I hate wasting paint, I don't know about you, but I loathe throwing it away. So it's great fun to do something with it. And, oh, some of the paper's stuck, but that's okay. So we've got all the paint off that, which is good. Put that away. Let's take this off. There we go. And now, let's have a play with this. See, oh great, look at that. Some fantastic things will happen <laughs> that are completely unexpected. Look at that. Isn't that great? And uh, I'm gonna get some kitchen roll. And I'm going to dab that in. Take it off, I'll get a bit of texture. And leave that there for a minute. And I'm going to get my palette knife and just scratch into it a bit. Oh, what a lovely mess. Isn't that great? But a wonderful way to begin a painting with a first layer. Look at that. Okay, now I'm going to do something similar here. But we'll do some different marks on it. I'm going to change hands. 
So I'm doing it with my left hand, which is my non-dominant hand. Great. <laughs> really good fun to do. And you feel like a child again, just playing with colours. And I might do something now on the top of this with some white. Let's just see. What happens? I could just make it as messy as I want just to see what will happen. And I want some uh, some black, I think. I'm going to get some black. So I'm going to uh, carry on here doing <laughs> this um, wonderful play piece. And you know, I'd just like to say a few things that might be helpful is that when you're doing these kind of um, projects and just messing around, really, but it's actually a fantastic experience because... Um, you're just free to do whatever you want to make as much mess or as not as you like because you haven't got the um, idea of producing a picture you're just experimenting and playing and you know making mud and doing all those kind of things but it's wonderful because it gives you the ability to um, relax and have fun with it and from it some interesting things occur as you'll see later <laughs> but you know I want you to think when you're doing this you know how you're feeling when you're doing it do you have um you know a preconceived idea in the back of your mind or are you just allowing yourself to enjoy the moment of playing and discovering all different kinds of things that paint will do you know, with different tools and brushes and knives and whatever it is that you might use. Um, we're in a kind of freedom state when we're playing around in this way. And this is the key to intuitive art. <laughs> this playtime is really very, very constructive for your mind because it's helping you um, let go and letting go is the most powerful thing that we can do when it comes to intuitive painting because it allows us to keep um, exploring possibilities, which is what you'll see is going to happen with these two wonderful, <laughs> um, very ugly looking messes. But I'm enjoying it so much and then I have ideas, what else can I do with it? And that's where things kick in because I haven't, you know, haven't um, got in mind when I started that I'm going to make a pretty picture, you know, and it's far better really to think about making exciting pictures rather than pretty pictures. Exciting pictures are authentic and they have an energy and a passion in them. So I'm going to let these dry. What a lovely mess. <laughs> fantastic and then let's see you know because it's great to go from this space to see what else happens and you know there's no judgment on it I'm not going to be putting it up on the wall but there's an energy in it isn't there and it looks as if I've had fun on both of them I mean they're both very different they're both a mess but they're both great and this is what play is all about just from an end of palette. The more you get into this zone of playing, the more connected you feel to your own creativity. So I'll come back to this 
um, once they're dry and then do something else with them. So now I'm going to see what I can do with this lovely mess <laughs> and um, have a, another play. So um, I've got some charcoal and I'm going to see what shapes I can find. And I am seeing um, a face in here. So I'm going to just go round and see if I can do something with this. There's kind of like an eye going on here. And another one here. And I'm kind of quite enjoying this thing. Let's see. It's going to be very kind of Picasso-ish, I guess. So I've got this kind of interesting face. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to, um, with this little gesso brush, um, I'm going to go round it with some white paint and then just see whether the shape of this face um, will make sense. You know, just the whole point of this exercise is to allow yourself, give yourself permission to experiment and explore something and um, go with the flow. You know, and I'm very much, as you know, into intuitive painting. And uh, this is kind of running alongside um, what I'm doing with my free Art Connection Taster course, which is a spiritual approach to intuitive abstract painting. And it's free, so I'll leave a link in the description. If you'd like to go and join that, I go over all many different ways of uh, discovering your intuitive creativeness to enhance your art, enhance your experience of painting, take it to the next level and um, looking at all kinds of interesting things about letting go, about colour, how colours affect us emotionally. There's some wonderful things going on in there. So you can see just from this very um, <clears throat> messy painting, <laughs> um, what can happen? This intriguing face and obviously I could go back and do more to it but I've got something from the mess and so many people say you know what do they do with all their old paintings and that this and that and the other. This is a wonderful way of um, exploring the possibilities. Now you can imagine this on a very big canvas, it would be very impactful. You know, okay, I could do something more with the background um, if I wanted to, but you know, for this example of showing how you can, uh, what would you call it, extend the boundaries of possibilities of what you can do when you're experimenting and you're playing. You know, this is a perfect way of, um, of doing that, of seeing what you can make out of out of the mess. <laughs> but you know, you enjoyed it and you had fun doing it and it was a great, um, you know, fun experiment. And I did another one like this with the other piece. Um, so I'll show you that too. So we've got two kind of interesting um, possibilities for this kind of thing, you know, again, all that mess going on in here, but I've got these interesting shapes, you know, I could do, um, you know, as I said, more to it, but I wanted to just show you how you can turn your old paintings or playing into something, you know, really interesting and abstracted and, you know, completely unique. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, do leave them in the comments and tell me what you think about doing this process. If it's something that you feel that you would like to try. <clears throat> and if you enjoyed the um, video, then do give me the thumbs up and uh, press the uh, subscribe button. That would be fantastic because it um, 
helps me share the videos to lots of people who are interested in doing um, wonderful abstract intuitive art. And remember, all the links are below uh, for the free taster course, uh, which I'm sure you're going to enjoy. And <laughs> I hope you enjoy having fun using up your old pal palettes to make some very unique, interesting abstract paintings. So I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial and lots of love. Bye for now.